game were definitely off. And so for the team that they played against last time, they couldn't really capitalize on that. But against a team like Sync Esports that knows the best heroes in and out, leaving something like, you know, Sir Benzington unbanned could be, could be you know, could really just absolutely mess them up. Like right here I see Sir Benzington isn't banned. Knowing Sync Esports, I can imagine that they'd pick him up probably in the first or second pick. Yeah, and you see plans by Sir Banning, Cronus, and Moon Queen, two heroes that can can turn pretty much any game around, so I'm assuming he does that because he thinks that's the only way they can possibly lose again against Randops, but... Yeah. Alright, so we are going to see a Rhapsody as the first pick, so that means it's up to see what TFPX is going to be doing with their first two picks. What last, did they first pick last time? They Empath, did, right? They did Empath Martyr as their first two picks. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. We got Empath. And let's see what we got. There are so many out. good hairs left in the pool. Yeah. Sink, go ham here. I'm surprised we haven't seen Sir Benzington picked up yet. <laughs> Sink loves that hero. Yeah. That hero is really, really good. Super strong suicide, very strong mid. All right, so we're going to see Devour. We got Mickey in the game, so we can it's safe to say that we'll see Mickey thrown down the Devo. Although I've seen Zlap playing it on stream lately. So you never know. <laughs> But it's good. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We, we, you know, maybe. You never know. All right, so let's see if we see Martyr. That's what we saw last time. Yeah, but picking like that against a professional team, Sync being one of the better teams in the scene, it's, leaves you really vulnerable. Yeah. Hopefully they, they got a strategy then instead of just having one lineup. And slapped with his signature old, old shot every game. Yeah. So they, slap. so they did pick Martyr. So they're they're doing yeah. the same thing. Now, here's the thing. Are Sync so confident that they didn't even look at the last game? Or do you think that they looked and saw what their lineup was? No, there, there's no way they looked at the last game. No way? No way. <laughs> All right. So it's safe to say that they're just like, well, how about now? Do you think now? Like, maybe one of them's like, oh, okay, let's see what they played recently. Drunken Master. This looks like a standard sync lineup. Well, Drunk Master is actually here that's probably not going to be very good against what TFPX ran last time yeah. with really high armor and pub training. It's difficult for Drunk Master to deal with damage against a lineup like that because he has to get up in their faces. He's going to take a lot of them and all his damage is physical. Yeah. So third pick last time, did they get Bramble or did they pick Wretched Hag? They picked uh, Wretched Hag last. I think they, they picked Hellbringer right here. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to pick the Bramble. So we are going to see the Empath Martyr Bramble Tri-Lane. They did Bane Hellbring. See, I told you. Told you. Boom. Yeah, they probably checked them now. <laughs> Slaps. And Slap Just... continues the old chatting. Uh, so they, it's not going to be the same. All right, so we got something different coming out. Yeah, I, I think this is where they deviate and go for a Roshan lineup. They yeah. Pick up the the Pharaoh or a Gauntlet or something like that. But Sync Sync isn't Sync wouldn't let them get a yeah, uh, a Congor. You think so? Yeah. All right. All right. So we're in the banning phase. We got Hellbringer banned, so we're not going to see the Hellbringer again this game. Uh, that means they're going to have to switch up their lineup at least a little bit. Uh, Sir Benzington went through the entire pick stage and is now the second banning stage. Do you think he's going to make it through this as well? Yeah, probably. They already have a Devourer and Drunken Master. It's possible that they're going to run the Drunken Master in the short lane, but yeah, it's probably more likely that he's suicide hero here and they're looking to pick something else up for Plans Meister. Yeah. So for Sync Esports, we still have we have Ophelia banned, but we still have Tempest and Parasite in the pick pool. Uh, knowing that Zlapped loves Parasite and plays him pretty frequently, if you were on TFPX, would you be banning that hero right now? Yeah, I... If I'm going to go a long lane try lane with Martyr and Empath to pretty weak supporters, they don't have any stun, that is, I think it would ban Parasite. Yeah. Parasite is a huge threat to a try lane. Well, let's see if they do it. So we got Master of Arms banned in Hellbringer. And they, they used a lot of time right there. They used all of their yeah. their time to... And ba banning Master of Arms like that kind of signals that you're looking to push. Yeah. It's not really a hero you're afraid of unless you're planning to get up early game. 
Yep. So let's. What other what other heroes could they be throwing into that? So we know we have a tri lane. So in terms of having a strong push team fight oriented, what other heroes could they be going for? Well, right now they're also lacking initiation. They had the the rock from the Hellbring last game to initiate with. Yeah. Right now they don't have that. So they're probably looking for a hero that can pick up the troll. Maybe bubbles. Bubbles. Or... Maybe they'll pick up the bubbles to go safe lane rather than the wretched hag. Yeah. Maybe a little There's Doctor Repulsor also... action. Well, Pharaoh would be able to fill that role and do Kongar, so it's a two for one. Yeah, so we have Jerizaya banned, and then we do have Parasite banned, so they definitely know who they're playing against. These guys were very eager to be playing against Sync Esports. They were ready for it, they wanted it, so they were they, they were prepare prepared. For this yeah, team. they were prepared. You can tell by the bands, too. Yeah, but the oh. Tempest is also still in the pool, and Helmut King doesn't have a superior interrupt at the moment. Yeah. It would be very weak to be KB Tempest. All right, Soul Reaper banned. So Sync is really trying to take out all of those push-heavy heroes that have heals. Um, and with this last ban, would would you like to see Tempest banned coming from uh, TFP? Yeah, I think Tempest is a good ban, but I think Slap is capable of running some passive junglers like Legionary Solstice. So Solstice Maybe has been really picking up lately, huh? Yeah. Um, a lot of the a lot of the 2000 and more games that I've been playing in recently has almost seen a solstice almost every single time. All right. So corrupted disciple was the last band. We have a quick pick right there from Flensmeister. He picks up the wretched hag. Uh, probably. So we need a mid hero. Yep. So we got that bubbles. The initiator. You could suicide the bubbles and run a, like a sandwich short lane as well. I don't think these guys are very confident r going into a late game with sandwraith against sync. Uh, that's true. So I think and that they're going to pretty weak against Drunken as well. Yeah, so I think that they're going to try to go something a little bit more push oriented. Uh, Wretched Hag's a great hero, of course, to have against a push team. Uh, let's see what they pick up here with their last pickup. So they're either missing a secondary support or a jungler, uh, basically but wh whatever. If they hero. pick a secondary support here, I don't think the Hellborn team has the potential to man up anymore. Yeah. Because Drunken Rhapsody are really strong already. Yeah. So if Sync picks secondary support, I think Hellborn has to pick something for late game. Yeah. So if they picked a secondary support, they'd probably go try. They might even go try lane versus try lane, St. Drunken, yeah, exactly. Rhapsody, and whatever hero they pick right now, bottom. Because you know Mickey can hold his own mid. And since they watched the last game, and they know that that's, this is going to be a try lane. It's safe to, they know that their mid matchup is going to be a one versus one. Tempest. They didn't. That's All right. Thing. Tempest. If Hellborn plays this correctly, Tempest is going to have a really hard time getting things done. Whoa. Defiler. There we go. All right. So that's the mid hero that we were talking about, the push one. So we're going to see a Defiler versus a Devourer. So if Defiler gets hooked, she's dead. I, I think Pablo is going to be mid. You think so? He has more survivability against two planes. I think Defiler is just going to be short lane. Okay. But. Fair enough. Fair no, enough. no matter where the defiler goes, she's going to be really vulnerable to gangs. Yeah. Let's get it on. All right. So I'm going to get the overlay added real quick. So who's missing from sync, by the way? Support. Support. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it looks like the filer is heading mid. Yeah? So they're going to be sending He's the filer. Uh, they're sending the, the tri lane top this time? Wow. Or maybe they're going to protect the pole? Or protect I mean, the. It's possible. Maybe they're playing mind game, thinking that Sync would dodge the tri lane bot and send to your stop with the Tempest, but. I'm just going to pre-farm his own jungle this way. I think it's really hard to justify having a try lane in your short lane to form a brand up. Like, if you're going to try lane your own short lane, it needs to be a really hard carrying hero. Yeah. Alright. Maybe we'll see some of the new double pulling now? We definitely could. Um, man, so they're sending the bubbles bottom to go against, it looks like the wretched Hey, yeah, so they're going to be sending the... Yeah. Alright. This Tempest is going to... Oh my god. 
Legion Sight Tempest with Sarah Ward is it's insane. He's gonna have crazy good farm, and they're gonna be taking yeah, down you, towers. Yeah, you get like quickly. 400 DPM. It's, it's gonna have a ridiculously fast mana ring, and then they'll just push towers. So how's how do you think Drunken? Ooh, so we got a stun going out right here against the bubbles, but bubbles is gonna be fine and just walk away. Uh, how do you see this Drunken Master working against this tri-lane? So he's gonna go. He has a ward. He's gonna try to put it down. They are hiding very well behind these trees. They are gonna go on him right here. Uh, let's see if Empath gets a good wall off. No. Perfect stagger to get right in between the wall. Can you uh, stagger through the wall, by the way? No, you cannot. Pretty sure? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think, okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, it's going to be close to impossible for them to kill him. Yeah. All right, so they're just going to keep wrapping around, just put a lot of pressure on him, and really just get Defiler the farm that she needs while soloing the Bramble mid. Uh, Bramble's going to be going against a Devourer and Rhapsody, so he's going to be having a pretty hard time. And then Bubbles versus Wretched Hag is that same matchup that we saw last time. Yeah, I think I think this laning plays heavily favors in Keysport. Yeah. Uh, Keizu's going to get boxed out pretty well, um, but what it comes down to is whether or not the Defiler is going to get enough momentum and the right items to be able to kind of steamroll, you know? Like you said, no wards in the jungle over here for his lap, so he's just going to be getting complete and utter free farm. Uh, he'll be walking out with a very quick mana ring, looking to probably take some towers pretty quickly. Martyr like and Empath are rotating mid. Um, they might actually be able to get a kill there. Yeah. Devourer. They're going it's all the. Around. They're going all the way around. That's that's an awkward path to choose because the Legion could have vision there. Yeah. All right, so the lane is in the yeah, Legion's Legion favor. Knows. They do know. There's no wards except for that one that Keizu placed right here. Tempest is in position to help out if need be. Looks like they're just going to leave these three here. Yeah, so they, they kept the Drunken Master level 1, and then they just left. Now he's going to get the experience again. Yeah. Drunken Master is a scary hero. But Defiler can do pretty well to kind of nuke him, nuke him out, do a lot of damage to him. He didn't get any pooled regen. All he has left is one uh, one little yeah, Blightstone. He, he did? Yeah, he had six. Oh, he stones. must have used it already then. Yeah. All right. So things are going well. He is going to have to pop that HP pot pretty early here. Um. And then now that the tri lane's there, it, it's definitely going in favor of this Bramble. Devourer is having to pay, play pretty far back. Uh, it's safe so, to say... It's so awkward to see a tri lane mid. It is. It's, just, it's straight up tri lane mid. Yeah, alright, so we got a dive right here. Bubbles, ooh, is in trouble. We got yeah, Flensmeister put on something. Oh, he has to take up, it doesn't matter. It's, it's good. Alright, so First Blood is going to go in favor of Flensmeister with Sync Esports. Dove the tower, and he was there for a while. Um... But unfortunately, nothing could be done. Yeah, he had a huge creep wave with him. Flens Mice are also 16 and 5, and the Bubbles is 4 and 0. Oh, so Flens is just absolutely taking control of this. Uh, Keizu has picked up his boots and starting to put some pressure onto the Defiler, getting him down to about half HP. Um, and yeah, Defiler needs to bring some regen, otherwise, this kid's my favorite killer. Yeah. I'm not sure if she realizes how much damage fucking she, she needs to be able to hit all of those waves too. Alright. So we do have the empath switching to bottom to help out with this bubbles. Looks like they're maybe gonna try to bait it. No. Alright. Here we go, we got a hook out. Mickey lands the hook onto the Martyr. Martyr's gonna go down. Bramble went in, but it might be a little bit too late. We got the Decay going off onto the Bramble. Slapped went in to try to get the stun, but unfortunately he <laughs> didn't get into doing? range. <laughs> there we got the Staccato, he's got the stun off. They're all gonna go on him. Rhapsody might go down. Rhapsody is going to fall. Bramble gets the kill. He turns out the last second to stun Devour. Yeah. Like a, almost a big play. Yeah. I don't know, Slap could Slap got stuck on the edge over here for like a good two, three seconds. Yeah, with the creeps. That was really well no, played. Ooh. He, just, he just got stuck on the edge. Defiler actually ends up taking down Keizu in a one versus one. Yeah, and Defiler making the good decision and sending out a ball for some regen. He really needed that. There we That's go. probably why he was able to get that kill. Uh, Bramble, it looked like, tried to TP mid, but it got cancelled. 
All right, we got action. Zlapt is coming in on Tempest. He is going to go on the Impath. He hits him with his Glacial Blasts. Uh, it looks like Impath is going to go down, and Zlapt is going to pick up the kill. Uh, good gank by him, coming out of the force, and he does have his, m uh, his ring, which should be being sent over right now. Uh, he'll probably come back, give Wretched Hag some mana, and they'll probably try to take it down. We got another great hook coming out here from Mickey. He is going to go, and he got the Bramble this time. Bramble's going to try to land the stun on the Rhapsody, which he does. Devo is out of the way, so he yeah, won't be able to get the rot. Oh, you used to bottle them? Ooh, Rhapsody has another stun. Rhapsody's going to be able to finish him off. Is Mickey going to go for this hook? He is, but he's going to miss. Man, Mickey is just landing all the right plays. Looks like Keizu is going to attempt to pull these creeps to try to get advantage back. Defiler, in terms of... Oh, wow. Didn't even, did he land another hook? Yeah. I think that's three for three right now. Pulls him right here. Defiler sees it. She's going to come in. Such an awkward position for kids to be in. Yeah, we got Bramble coming in right here as well. Impass yeah. here is the Impass gonna land a wall? She is, but by the time she got it, he had already. Bramble might get there in time. Devo's here. Devo's got a hook ready. But they're not gonna engage. They're just gonna let it go by. Defiler's gonna run back up top, and then Casey's gonna go grab some pots. Yeah, Devourer's gonna pick up the DD room both. These supports are just gonna be food for Devourer right now. Yeah. They're so under farm. Not even boots on either of them. In terms of CS, we have Defiler picking up 30 while Keizu has 25. And then uh, Tempest is leading the entire way with 39. Yeah. That was their trial in as well. Keizu is at 25 last days. Yeah. Uh, Mickey did finish his steam boots. He does have his bottle. Uh, misses the hook right there. He's got a double damage in it, so if he does pull somebody in, he is going to absolutely wreck face. The trial lane is back in mid. Martyr throws up the Retribution, but it barely does any damage, seeing as he was at full life. And there's three hairs just setting mid without boots. It's so easy for Devourer to land hooks as well. Devourer missed the hook. He's going to go in, though, and use his ultimate on him. Bramble's the one that gets caught, but with the Martyr buff, he seems to be okay. He's going to run, turn around. Zlapt comes in and grabs the great ultimate, pulling in two, and they get two kill. They're going to keep going here and try to get the kill on Empath. He's going to go for the hook, but he's going to miss. Uh -huh. Leaves Rhapsody in a pretty awkward situation, but it looks you like she's going to be all right. Is, like, auto -stun there. Yeah. Miscommunication. Bottom lane, Bubbles is level 5 with 13 CS, Flensmeister level 8 with 39. Uh, mid tower should be going down since Devo has this double damage activated, and Tempest is here. Yeah, Lane has the 6k, well. 6k advantage, 8 minutes into the game. It's gonna be difficult to mount the comeback from this position. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult. Bubbles has hit level 6 though, so we should probably look for an opportunity to gank. Flensmeister has two boots, one for each foot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he knows that. Yeah, they're trolling already. Alright, so Devo's going to hook around the side, see if he can get something. No, he's going to go back. Bramble's now top against this drunken. Empath is here as well. Looks like they're going to be sending Defiler mid, kind of change it up a little bit. They really want to get this farm on the Bramble. Defiler is not a good yeah. area to have. Rhapsody the comes around. He does activate his ultimate. The little birdies are flying around, but it might be a little bit too late. Devo's just going to walk up with his haste and just dump on him. Drunken Master is going to go try to get a kill on this Empath. He notices yeah, that she's level 3. Devo's on the way. Decent wall if he's able to get on the other side, and he is. Bramble could be in trouble, though. The hook does go on to Bramble. Bramble is going to fall. We have a TP coming in. It's going to be Bubbles. The Bubbles has his ultimate and uses it. Devo's going to get caught here, and Devo is going to go down, which was a good TP in by Bubbles. Uh, Rhapsody's here as well, but Rhapsody doesn't have any mana. Uh, let's see if they're going to try to turn this. They are not. At the same time, we got a TP coming in bottom tower. Tempest and Hag are going to take this tower. Uh, the TP was canceled. And it's probably going to be a free tower for them. They are going to use the uh, the glyph, though. One person is TP in while Defiler comes in. He's probably going to... Oh, he's going to stay. We have Bramble. He activates it. Is he going to get the stun to land? He is. The silence is also coming off. Are they going to have enough damage to take her down before she has her blink? It does not look like it. No mana from Tempest. He is going to do a little arcane ring right there and give them both mana. 
Martyrs here, Brambles here, Defilers here, but I think they're still gonna they're still gonna back away. Devo is top, looking for the hook onto the bubbles, who doesn't have very much mana. Not enough to shell surf. Looks like he's aware. Yeah, they have a lane ward. No, they're there. Might still buy though. Looks like they're gonna go for it regardless. Up, oh, Devo's well, backing up. Himself. Uh, maybe because they didn't see him. Flensmeister is coming in on mid. We have the level three empath who is just going to just absolutely just drop fairly quickly. Uh, Looks like Flensmeister is gonna, gonna buy a second pair of steam boots. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's gonna micro all of them. Probably. You know who used to love doing that? Who used to say that was the thing to do? Emperor. <laughs> Emperor thought that like having five steam boots was the shit. All right, so they're going to collapse here on Bramble at the tier two tower. Rapsy's going to hit by Retribution. Uh, he's looking Bubbles low, but they're not going to kill him. Bubbles goes down. Now would be the time to fight on the mid if they can. We got a great ultimate coming out from the Bramble, trapping in him. Mickey, Mickey gets hit by Retribution, and then by Defiler Wave, but the Rhapsody ulti is going to save him. And it looks like that should be the end of the fight. Are they calling the PDs already? I think he meant well played for the Rhapsody Ultimate. Oh. Oh shit. But yeah, Emperor used to pick uh, Shadow Blade and build like uh, four or five different Steam Boots. Why? <laughs> that was just this thing, man. Does it doesn't make sense. You don't question the Emperor. Alright. Things are looking pretty grim here. 12 minutes. Uh, 12k gold advantage and an 8k XP oh. advantage for He didn't get a sports. second pair of power threads. He went for the light burn instead. Okay. I'm not sure if he's aware of all the value he's missing. wonder if he even knows that he has the boots. He might have just misbought it at the side store. Uh, uh, Martyr, Bubbles, and Empath are going to be closing in on Flens up here in the top, but he's just going to blink and then TP away safely. Devo and Rhapsody are going to be wrapping around. Going to try to... Defiler's going to run out. That is bad timing for Defiler. Easy staccato. And then she's going to get devoured and just taken down. Not much anybody can do. Drunken Master comes in and picks up the kill. What a hook by Mickey to bring it back. And then he's going to grab another kill. Uh, Keizu with the double tap. Just running the Energizer face boots on Drunken Master. <laughs> Mortar is 30 golds away from her red boots now. It's gonna be really helpful. <laughs> All right, so it looks like they're gonna try to put up a defense at the tower. At the same time, Slap's gonna be, uh, or Flens is gonna be pushing bottom here. They're gonna go for the deny, and they are not going to get it. Mickey's right here. They don't see him. He's going to wrap around, and he's going to blink away before the attack lands. Bubble's going to initiate Big on them. He's going to catch man. two. Uh, the Rhapsody's going to go down. Drunken Master gets low. It looks like the rest are going to be able to escape pretty easily. Ooh, this Bramble wants to keep chasing. Yeah. The, when you drop two supports with no stuns, it's going to be really hard to like, chase people down like that. Yeah. So low on stuns on the whole bunch side. All right, so they're just gonna group up mid, maybe try to get tower. Wow, Mickey lands the hook on Martyr and is gonna try it's to gonna take her out. Kill. It's gonna be close. Ooh, Martyr uses her ultimate to heal her HP, but Mickey's gonna be able to escape just fine. Uh, I think mm. Martyr should have retribution before it. Before doing up. it, yeah. Drunken Master TP's in. Defiler activates her unholy expulsion. It looks like they're going to try to get this tower down. we got a glyph coming out. Mickey once again with a hook onto him. Takes him out. Slapped with the four-man Tempestal. Everybody gets caught here. Rhapsody's going to chase down the Defiler and not going to get her. Ooh, Defiler might be able to actually turn around on this Rhapsody. Meantime, Slap takes out Bromance. Wow, Mickey with another crazy hook. He's going to collapse onto this Martyr. Take out Martyr. All the while, Rhapsody was able to take out the Defiler.
Wow. What, what interrupted a Tempest Void, by the way? Was it Bramble's Spore Breath? I believe so, yeah. Because everyone was in it. Then. Did you see both of those those hooks by Mickey in there? Yeah. That was, portal key, the first one. Yeah, that was crazy. Mickey's, a, Mickey's good. Well, things are now looking even more grim. It's about Looks to like be. the first hook hit, hit all on the way green. back as well. Looks so weird. I guess it's because the portal key. Yeah, it makes it look Animation all goofy. Glitched. Yeah. Tower to die from Flensmeister. Ah, uh, someone playing Flensmeister, Sierra. Flensmeister is disconnected. Oh, right. You should pick up uh, another pair of boots on him, or at least disconnect. I wish you could lands that. another hook on the Bramble. Drunken Master comes in with the Energizer, and they're just going to finish him off pretty easily. Keizu went from 0 and 1 to 6 and 0. Oh. Repping that Dionysus skin. He also got a tablet of command. Uh, we got some action going on. Zlaft is going to stun the Defiler who pops her ultimate. And she's going to try to man up, but she's just going to get stun locked down and won't even be able to get a wave off. Drunken Master still here. Creep is on him. Maybe trying to bait these guys, but I don't think they're going to fall for it. All the and while. still playing fresh on every single lane now. Yeah. Flynn's Meister is just going to take down this tower. It's actually 16 minutes in, and the Halborn team has not decided to concede yet. Maybe they have a comeback plan. I think they're just excited to be playing against these guys. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, they have it. They have something. They have some OP plan, yeah. That hook looks so fucking weird when it does that. It's like travels sideways. Yeah. I wonder what Mickey's gonna be picking up. All right, so the Grimoire was finished on Flynn's Meister. It's being delivered right now by the Courier. Bubbles. I mean, we got no big items coming from the Hellborn team. They're not even close. Uh, we're not going to see any portal keys or any ways to initiate. Mickey stand on top of the hill. He wants to get a hook up here. It actually looks like he's stuck the way he's moving. <laughs> he doesn't want to pour Loki down. Someone's gonna push Book Alright, they're gonna go onto the Wretched Hag. Drunken Master catches the Martyr, and the Martyr goes down very quickly. We got both caught in the Bubbles Ultimate with the Bramble Ultimate coming out and kind of paying attention on all of them. Wretched Hag's gonna escape barely any HP while the rest of the team is going to come in. They're gonna switch their attention to Rhapsody. Tempest is going to come in. They're gonna finish off the Bramble. Devour gets the Bubbles. Bubbles is gonna go down. What we'll started off as a decent fight turned pretty grim for the Hellborn team real quick. The fighter is yeah. stuck. Yeah. Kisses easy, spirits. All right. Spirits are spirits are down. Is she gonna be able to get it? Nope. He's gonna come in and pick up the. He almost had kids. The spirits just disappeared. Yeah. Mickey grabs the kill, and they'll probably look to push in the tower. One thing the Hellborn does have going for them is their respawn timers are really short. <laughs> Classic. All right, Perfect Tempest blinks in. Man. They're gonna go on to Empath. Empath is gonna get burst down very quickly, and it looks like that's a wrap. We have the concede vote coming out, and that's it. Sync Esports takes them out. Yeah, that was kind of an uneven match, but that's what happens. All right, so there we have it. Sync Esports taking out Team Foxy Proxy, and they're gonna move on to the round of 32. Uh, my Nets and I, we're going to take a quick little 10 minute break. We got the next round starting in 10 minutes. And the match that we are going to be casting is going to be. Let's bump this up. Uh, so, My Nets, I was thinking that we do.